from Asia deep with the power of water. And from South America, Mati with the power of heart. When the five powers combine, they summon Earth's greatest champion, Captain Planet. The power is yours! Privateer alert! I'm picking up high pollution levels on the ocean's surface. Take us down for a closer look, Mati. Look at these pollution levels. I just bet that polluter sliced sludge is dumping waste in the ocean again. But from where? Okay, you good for nothing slime balls. Shove all that garbage into the fog baking machine. Looks like I fooled those stupid planeteers with my phony fog cover. They'll never find my secret disposal plant now. <laughs> At last I can pollute in peace! I'm on radio, we are heading home. Are you all right, Monty? What is it? Hush! I hear cries for help from somewhere deep in the ocean. If sea creatures are in danger, I must go to their rescue. Be careful, Dee. Who knows what is down there? Don't worry. When it comes to the ocean, I am totally at home. This is terrible. Plants and fish are dying from all this garbage and toxic waste. Ah, I think I found the source. No life can survive these levels of pollution. What kind of twisted mind would think up something like this? What do we have here? Looks like one of those goody two-shoes planeteers is spying on your secret dump site in Mr. Sludge. Very good, Ooze. Three guesses what I'm going to do about it. Um... Oh, oh! <laughs> Send out your mechanical octomasher to scare her off and, um, um... Uh... Good guess. While you're draining the rest of your brain, that's exactly what I'll do. I don't take kindly to trespassers. Since I live under the sea. I don't understand. Where am I? How did I get here? After I rescued you from that eight-legged metal monster, a manta ray and I brought you here. You are in the underwater city of Oceanus. Underwater city? That is impossible. Difficult, but not impossible. Our city is protected by a dome of thick glass made from sea sand. Special generators remove oxygen from the seawater and pump it into our dome. We harvest all kinds of kelp and seaweed. Everything we need to have a good life is here. My name is Pontus. I'm a marine biologist. And this is my lab. I'm Guy, and I'm a marine biologist too. Seas, lakes, and rivers are my life. I used to dream about a place like this. It is... 
Paradise. Yes, but soon it may be nothing more than a dream. This is the north end of the city. Only a few months ago, it was the home of wondrous creatures. Now look at it. Your people are destroying it with their poisons. under tons of water. Sly Sludge must be behind this. Take me to the surface. My friends and I will stop him. No! You must not tell anyone about Oceanus. But why? Our city has been a secret for thousands of years. We have sworn an oath never to contact outsiders. I have already disobeyed our laws by bringing you here. My friends are the Planeteers. We have dedicated our lives to protecting the planet. Together we will make things right. No! You must not! I am sorry, Key, but we must go and talk to the elders. This must be the source of pollution Guy was telling me about. But where is Guy? There is no sign of her. Yes, there is. Without her tank, she would only have minutes. It is not true. I have this feeling she is still alive. Hurt. Are you picking up anything? Pollution. Everywhere. I cannot get through. I wish... We all love Gimati, but if something happened, we cannot wish her back. I bet Sludge did this, and he's gonna pay the price. Well, well, those planet punks are all here. Get my pollution-powered submarine. It's time for some underwater underhandedness. But you must let me go to my friends and stop the creep who is polluting your waters. Let me call them. We know all about your pollution, my dear. How the land dwellers foul the air, destroy the land, and poison the water. We watch you constantly. Yes, but some of us are trying to make things better. Not enough of you, I'm afraid. That is how it is with land people. Ten thousand years ago, our ancestors developed an advanced society in our undersea world. The land dwellers will perish by their own doing. We will remain because we do not pollute. But your dome is failing. You will perish, too, without our help. Our scientists will make the dome resistant to your destruction. We will find a way to purify our waters of the land people's poisons. But... The Council of Elders has made its decision. You must never contact your friends. To ensure our secret spreads no further, you will remain in Oceanus forever. the trick torpedo. Swag for it, guys! And now to detonate the torpedo. <laughs> now I know how fish feel. I'm sure you'll find your new home very cozy. Yeah, and the rats seem to like it. <laughs> Okay, Sludge, tell us what you did with Guy. Oh, I'm afraid your friend had a close encounter with my Octomasher. And we haven't seen her shit. Uh, I'll get you for this, Sludge. <laughs> I don't think so. With your wrist chained, your firepower can't touch me. And even if you could get loose, there's a thousand foot drop to that acid moat down there. But enough small talk. I've got a customer who's looking for a place to ditch thousands of gallons of toxic wastes. I'm hooking him up to my secret polluting pipeline. Ciao! Hey, that dumb customer thinks everything we do here is legal. We're geniuses! Ciao! <laughs> we cannot let Sludge get away with this! He must call Captain Planet! We cannot! Not without E. There's gotta be some way to stop Sludge, if we could only get loose! Maybe you can bounce your firepower off the ceiling and melt your chains! Maybe? 
I hope I can pull this off. Fire! Boy, am I hot or what? Yo! Ouch! Take it easy, Wheeler! Our leashes are off, but we're still in the doghouse. Let me shake things up a little. Uh. Hey! Uh. Ouch! Time out, Kwame! Nice job. We got a door, but... It sure is a long way down. Great. Now what do we do? Fly? If you spend more time being wise than being a wise guy, maybe we would find a solution. What's that supposed to mean? That you are full of hot air. If you would stop arguing, you would realize you both found the solution. We can fly with hot air and a balloon made of blankets. The tanker truck is all hooked up, Mr. Sludge. The toxic wastes are flowing into your pipeline. What a scale. And the customer pays for legal dumping. Fire! Wind! Okay, now! We are floating. Then. More fire! More wind! This is not a nice place for a swim. Staying in this paradise, Guy. Uh, I'm not bad company. It's not you, Pontus. I have my duties as a planeteer. Besides, this paradise may not last. Don't worry. My people have always solved their problems by themselves. You'll see. job. First, a little sad. This ought to stir things up. And now, let's turn up the heat. Making glass from molten sand gives it the Captain Planet seal of approval. Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? First, for a little re-plumbing. I'm mad. And I'm not gonna take it anymore. Now I need to find somewhere safe to put those poisons. And I think I see a pollution solution. Whoa there, boy. Well, 
I don't mean to be flip. This is a cleanup job that could take years, but I'm gonna give it a good head start. You take this waste back to your boss and tell him to dispose of it safely. What's this? Something's wrong with my pollution meter. What the? I, I think we have a, a clog in the pipes, sir. The toxic wastes are backing up. She's gonna blow. Uh, shall I get the plunger? No, you idiot! Run! I gotta go on a diet. We're never gonna make it. Insurance is paid up, sir. upon you planeteers these medals of bravery for saving our city and teaching us that we cannot hide ourselves from the rest of the planet we are all tied together in the earth's ecosystem each of us is one link in the chain of survival we are proud to have helped you and i am proud to be made a planeteer i promise to patrol the oceans and keep them safe from polluters with the help of my new mechanical friend, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Planeteers, time to head back to Hope Island. Are you sure you won't stay here in the place of your dreams? I can't, Pontus. At least, not until the rest of our planet is as beautiful and clean as Oceanus. But I'm going scuba diving on Saturday, around noon. If you happen to be swimming my way. Go, planet! Don't they see all that trash they are leaving behind? Why don't they pick it up? Because they think someone else will do it. Now they know that trash does not go away by itself. We all have to do our part. Do not be part of the pollution. Be part of the solution. But it's trash time, kid. The power is yours. With all the ground those Transformers have to cover, they must have a really good mechanic. Maybe I could get his number because mine couldn't find a carburetor with two hands and a socket wrench. Transformers Armada is coming up next, right here on Cartoon Network. Captain Planet, we're the planeteers. You can be one too, cause saving our planet is the thing to do. Looting and polluting is not the way. Here at Captain Planet, everyone's a 